Hey, 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 it's me, Archilantum89, and I would like to welcome to my first Minecraft seed showcasing. And this is a seed that I found by myself. Yes, yes, I did. It's hard, is that hard to believe, I know. I found this seed on my own. I explored it. I found some really cool stuff. But it's kind of pretty unique with this seed. Is that it spawns right near a village. Yeah, isn't that awesome? So, you have some pigs here so you can start off, and you have a village that you can start off. You can pick on the seeds, get some food, and all that stuff. And I hear Endermen. Those Endermen can be creepy at times. But, you know, other than that, they're pretty cool. So, there you have a blacksmith. Yeah, that's kind of cool too. So, basically, I go here, and you can find yourself some goodies. Two apples, you can find yourself with iron chest plate, pants, some more pants, and some gold. Yeah, I don't mind that, I have that on sometimes, I, I use it at times, it's for fun, my entertainment usually. Usually I use it to do a few other modifications for my things, but you know. Other than that, it's not really there to do anything other than what I want to do with it. So anyways, I will turn that off now. And then get out. And then we will go off and explore. Across the desert. Yeah, there is a desert temple this direction but it's not right here it's kind of I kind of this is how I found it I kind of going to do exactly the way I found it not the way that it would usually make sense but you know that's just the way I work with my mind I remember things visually where things work and as we let this world load which takes a while I'm not running like a super powerful laptop uh, these things. Hold on, I'll take this down. Close, we don't need you. Back to Gaium! Oh, Buck. Yeah, there's some pretty cool stuff in this seed. So we have a... Hopefully we can find that before the world loads in. Uh, the loading... Why do you lag so much Minecraft? I don't think the real problem with this, I've heard the people complain about the land generation as being kind of not great as it used to be, but my bigger complaint is it's not as optimized as it can be, due to the fact that it is designed in Java. I mean, I'm sure there's a way, but I don't know what you could do with Java to make it optimized. And hopefully in the future they do optimize it to for better access to other people who don't have super computers, you know. And there's people who play video games on on a casual basis are not like pros or anything like that. And there is a thing over here. Let's let that load. See right there. Good, we didn't pass it. So Go past that jungle, into the forest, and you find this temple. And then you go down. Eee! Let me get myself some torches. A torch, you don't really need that many. You would like that area. Yeah. Some gold, some iron, some more iron. And some bones. So you have bone meal, gold, and you get diamonds and some gold and some zombie flesh. Or free dog food as you would like it. So you get a good stash. In fact, perhaps I didn't think much of this seed when I first found it, but then I went off to another plains area. I did copy this world. Again, because I want to build on that plane. For I'm probably making a kind of playing around with map making a little bit. 
going around with creation, kind of making a kind of RPG-ish kind of feel. Add a little bit of crafting type things in there. If I can figure out how to do the command blocks, then it would really shine. Start being looking cool, good, and cool and awesome. But other than that, because if I can figure out how to make a key work in the Amnesia Custom Stories, I am sure I can make a map in Minecraft. Because I kind of like doing creative things. So we go over here, past this desert. There's nothing really in this desert other than sand and, well, cacti. But over here is where the sea starts to kind of have an interesting shine. See, this other plane has quite a bit of ravines. I mean, there's a ravine like in this area. Yeah, right there. I mean, there's nothing really cool in this ravine that I have seen so far, but you never know. It's up to you to explore. But I did find a. In this area, down in a big little pit, right over here. Ah, uh, looks like there. It's not over here, but. Let me see here. I think it's down here. Yeah. There is a. I think down here. I'm not absolutely certain. Oh yeah, here it is. A mine shaft. So I found quite a few chests. There's some that have diamonds. Well, a diamond, and there's one that has an enchanted book that is power five. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, right there. But what's really cool, I think is right over here in a ravine that there's a few well interesting little generation little things right here ah here we go we had a zombie dungeon but in here we have your enchanted book protection three the bread some wheat some gunpowder some web a saddle. You get respiration. That's kind of cool. And you have silk touch. Now that's pretty cool. Cocoa beans. You have gold beans. You have ingots over there. Not gold, but iron. You get the idea. There's two actually in here. One that's more visible. It's another zombie one. So you kind of have a lot of zombie flesh. You have a Thorns 3, Power 4. No, I think this one's the one that has Power 4, but I've seen quite a bit. And Respiration 3. No, this is the one. No, it's the one. I think one has them. Actually, has Infinity 1, a dungeon in there, so. Whichever one, you're gonna find out for yourself. It's quite cool. I. I mean, this is a pretty neat seat, isn't it? Right there. You have your spawn village. You can live there for a while. You have some mountains in here. You can go mine in there. You have a mine shaft you can explore. <clears throat> you have your ravines. You have all of that goody, 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 good stuff. Oh, yes. And... As always, we're signing off with these videos. If you have enjoyed it, then like is appreciated. Let me know that you would like to see more. And if you want to keep up with seeds I showcase or any video that I might show up on my in the subscribe bar, descriptions are always welcome. After all, you're always welcome on my channel, and you are. And as always, as we let the sun set 
This is this Minecraft world. I'm Marjorie Jontum, 89, signing off with peace and love.